let's just put it this way. I had an eating disorder, got out of it, feel like I'm helping a lot of people, but I want to help out a lot more. I love CrossFit. I love CrossFit Endurance. Um, gosh, what else? I am quirky. I will make your show better than it already is. Lindsay Martin here. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the shenanigans uh, by myself and my dog over here, Carl. Uh, you can't beat a human name for a dog, so hopefully you thought he was really cute. We think he's really cute. Um, the producer of this is Jeffrey Ford. Uh, he is my fiance and also CrossFit Endurance uh, head programmer. I'll get to him later because uh, he's made a huge impact on my life. Um, but I wanted to shoot this video, and because I'm very, very interested in being a part of your team uh, for Barbell Shrugged. I want to give you a little bit of background about myself, talk about where I am now, and kind of where I see myself going. So, background, I'm from Ohio, I'm in South Carolina right now, live in Bluffton for the past three years. But in Ohio growing up, I played soccer, fell in love with the sport, was fortunate enough to get recruited by Ball State University, thriving metropolis in Muncie, Indiana. Uh, I spent a lot of time there. Uh, got recruited by uh, their head soccer coach and went on and my freshman year was rather difficult. Um, I battled an eating disorder my first two years of college soccer. I was extremely thin. Uh, right now I'm probably around 135. I don't really get on the scale that much anymore. Uh, but at that point in time, I was weighing in around 109. My mom actually remembers 106, kind of blanked that part out, uh, but I know I was really, really low. My heart rate lying down was 47. I stood up a minute later, was at 88, and the doctor I was seeing at the time basically is like, all right, your heart is atrophied. It's working way too hard just to stand. You've got to stop playing soccer, which completely devastated me. And I learned very, very quickly uh, the importance of nutrition and also the mental emotional side of things as well and I ended up getting a lot of support but it was really my faith that really helped get me out of that one um, battled my way back and by the time I was a senior I was voted captain of my team and I finished with a phenomenal experience along the way my undergraduate degree was in exercise science and I completed that did an internship at Hilton at Health where now I am currently at, but when I finished that internship, I knew I wanted to pursue my master's in nutrition. So I went back and back to the Ball State University and I got my master's in nutrition. At the time, I was a graduate assistant for the men's and women's golf programs. Loved that because it gave me the opportunity to work on the staff end of things with a bunch of athletes. Um, I know it was definitely more golf related, but I mean, it really is like a family there, and so I got to get involved with gymnastics teams. I got to be involved with the golf teams and their strength and conditioning and nutrition side of stuff. Um, my master's thesis was actually working with uh, the freshman and sophomore athletes and more in lines with the prevention of eating disorders. So I'm very, very passionate about it. Um, went on, and after I got my master's, I did my dietetic internship in the Notre Dame, Goshen, Indiana area. Most people don't know Goshen, it's like Amish country. Uh, finished that up and knew that I wanted to work in some type of facility that dealt with weight. Uh, I didn't know exactly what that looked like yet, uh, but I knew that Hill Med Health, where I had previously interned, it's more of a weight loss facility. And I'm like, you know what, that sounds like it would be something I'd be very interested in. I loved their program and Jeff Ford ended up hiring me. Um, he was their fitness he was their head fitness guy and also the leader of their wellness coaching program. So he's like, okay, well, in order for you to 
come down here, basically you got to become a wellness coach because we know you're a dietitian and that's all well and good, but let's get you doing something different too. So I became a wellness coach. Um, it's called Well Coaches and it's it's approved by the ACSM, which probably means nothing to you guys, uh, but um, it's a great it's a great program. And so I came down there and I did more of the uh, wellness coaching. I taught a few fitness classes, and then on the dietetic side of things, that's where it's really I'm not so much fitness now. I'm way more nutrition focused. Where all the one all the one on ones, grocery tours, meal planning, menu development. I give about five to gosh eight lectures a week depends on the week I work with the chefs a lot so sometimes we do cooking demos and we get I mean sometimes 20 25 people in a room so I'm very comfortable talking in front of a group of people and I, I genuinely love working with the guests there um, on a personal note of things uh, ever since I moved down to this area I started CrossFit so when you when you're a college athlete and you get done, you really don't know what to do with yourself because you've got this competitive side, um, but you're still now you've got a job. And it's like, well, how do I do both? Well, I fell in love, love, love with the CrossFit endurance side of things. And Jeff Ford is now the head programmer for CrossFit endurance on the main site, and so he's really helped me become a what I would consider a competitive runner. Um, when I first was here and started the whole CrossFit endurance. I did my first marathon, qualified for Boston, and now I'm still involved in local races. I've dabbled into the triathlon. The, the swimming still petrifies me. Anxiety attacks in the water is never fun when you start backstroking in the middle of a triathlon. But <laughs> any way you can get oxygen, you're willing to do it. Um, from the strength and conditioning side of things, I love CrossFit and I love strength training. It's definitely made a huge impact on my overall health and it's something where it's also allowed me to work with a lot of just athletes as well because he's got a remote, remote coaching side of things and so from a nutrition aspect I get to work with Ironman athletes, people that you know used to be professional sailors and are now going after the first triathlon, ultra runners, I mean you name it. And I get to work with a lot of his athletes, which is really, really fun for me because it's outside of that, that weight loss world. Um, where I am now, it's interesting because I'm, I'm really shooting this because I, I had a huge wake-up call not too long ago. Um, conviction training facility is where Jeff's, you know, that's where a lot of his athletes are coming out of and that's where I train. And I write blogs for them every now and then. And I wrote a blog titled, I Had a Needed Disorder then I received a rose. So it, it shares my story and based off that blog post which had like 300 and something shares I was shocked by it and the Today Show actually reached out to me and wanted me to be a part of their uh, eating disorder uh, awareness week back in February. I didn't get it. Um, they had me scheduled like Thursday at 11 to come in for my interview and they canceled it and uh, brought somebody else in. Not nearly a good of a story, but that's okay. Um, but it was a wake up call because it made me realize that I want to reach a lot of people and I want to help a lot. And I know that I can't necessarily do that where I am. And so that's where I really feel like I could be a crucial part of your team. Because this is more of an interview, I do want to share with you a few strengths and weaknesses. I'm genuine. I, I care a lot about who I'm working with. I'm a hard worker. Um, and I think I also, I, I, am, I have the ability to really kind of self-analyze myself and, and know where I'm strong and where I'm weak. And from a weakness side of things, I can be too much of a perfectionist. I'm not very techie, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Jeff is shooting this right now and I need to learn how to do all this kind of stuff. Um, but I know I am willing to learn and I want to be a part of your team. I love that you guys play such a crucial role for so many people and that's really kind of why I'm doing this and hopefully you guys will call me back. Um, I know I'd make a good team member and when in doubt look at that, that, that phone number that you'll see in a little bit, that email you'll see in a little bit and I'd love to hear from you in like 24 hours. All right.
Bye.